The students will discuss hyperchromic and hypochromic shifts in UV visible spectroscopy. Hyper is typically used for some enhanced value of something and hypo is used for lower values than in UV visible spectroscopy let's say we have a, a wavelength on x-axis and as absorbance on y-axis or epsilon can also be taken on y-axis and we have this normal or original peak of absorption of a certain analyte if due to certain reasons this value of absorbance on y-axis increases than the normal or we can say the epsilon value for that very analyte is now enhanced as we can also take epsilon on y-axis which is molar absorptivity and it's a, a, a qualitative property of that very substance so if the value is enhanced increased than normal that will be the hyperchromic effect of course the analyte will absorb more photons and if it is colored it will have more intensity of that color and on the other hand if the value of the epsilon decreases than normal shift towards the lower value it is referred to as hypochromic effect or hypochromic shift which means that the epsilon value uh, has now decreased and the uh, molecule in study will absorb less number of photons at the given wavelength so affect the uh, detection limit of that very method so Generally, we can say an enhanced value of epsilon or molar absorptivity will be referred to as hyperchromic effect and a lower value of that will be referred to as hypochromic effect and that may be caused by uh, many parameters and principally we can say that the change in the molecular environment will result in a change in its epsilon value that molecular environment may be a change in its uh, ph like uh, it could be alkaline or acidic solvent could be other parameter uh, conjugation can also play a part and normally these uh, hyper and hypochromic shifts are accompanied by other shifts like blue shift or the red shift, shift of the uh, UV visible uh, spectrum. So we can say that uh, there are four possible shifts in UV spectrum. Uh, two we have discussed here that is the hyperchromic shift and the hypochromic shift similarly if the wavelength shift towards the shorter wavelength it is referred to as blue shift or hypsochromic shift and if the wavelength is towards a longer wavelength shift. so this was all about the uh, shifts of wavelengths and epsilons which are occurring in uv and visible spectroscopy and their possible reasons